Welcome to my channel. This video is continuation for my previous video CACD pipeline. In my previous video, I discussed about what is CACD and what are the tools available in the market to implement CACD pipeline. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can continuously integrate your code to the existing uh, code and how you can deploy your application continuously in different deployment platforms. Let's get into this topic. This diagram is about uh, how you can manage your source code with Git. Usually for any project there is a there will be master branch where your all your source code is available. So when you want to make changes in your master branch then you have to create a sub branch from master branch as a development so this is a replica of master branch so whatever the core it is available in the master branch it is the same copy of uh, here in development so developer can pull the code from development branch and he can make changes in his code locally and he tests it in locally in his laptop and once he is happy with the result then push the code to the git repository via a new feature branch because why we have to create a new feature branch because for example think about the, there is another developer in the team so he has to make some changes in the application with respect to some other changes so he also pulls the source code from the development branch and he start make his changes and he will make all changes and will push back the changes he has to push back the changes to the git repository how he has to do so he has to do where well, another separate feature branch so all the features is pushed to the git repository as a separate branch and they will be merged here in development branch before that each developer code changes are tested via Jenkins how it Jenkins will trigger to compile the feature branches and it will try to find any error in the code done by both the developers. So each feature branch will be reviewed by the colleague like a peer review. So your colleague reviews your code and he says that it's okay. So PR that means pull request is approved. Then Jenkins will, job will be triggered and it will try to compile your code and you try to run the application like you know it compiles the code if there is an error it will send an email to the developers so that again developers will make changes and will push back the changes to the feature branches so once all feature branches are working perfectly then they have to match so they have to match it properly so that bill will not be failed so Jenkins will take care of uh, if there is an error and it's an informing to the developers so developers can work on it and they can push back the changes so once all the feature branches are perfectly matched and they will push back to the development branch so development branch will have all the features changes which is develop, uh, done by developer 1 and developer 2 then it will be merged back to the master branch so master branch will have all the all the changes the latest changes done by both the developers so this is how you have to maintain and uh, do the version control of your code via git then so once you have all your latest changes in your git repository how you have to deploy your application so what are the activities or things that we need to do that is the next step this diagram shows that uh, the continuous deployment process you have to look at this diagram from bottom to top see here you can see three feature branches that are merged back to development branch once all the feature branches are merged to development branch then the Jenkins will Jenkins job will be triggered so which will compile the code and builds a jar and it will convert the jar into docker image 
and it will deploy the application into development platform so development environment so the application is run successfully in development environment then it will be pushed back to master branch if it is not the development branch will be debugged that means the developer will pull the code from development branch and will try to make changes to rectify that that error then once the application is successfully running in a development platform the changes will be pushed to a master branch the master branch is the final version which will be moved to the test environment that means all the latest changes are available in the master branch that means each feature branch changes everything this is this is the application this is the code which will be finally deployed to the production so from here it should be taken care by the all the test testing team because uh, they have to test a lot of things functionally both technically and integration with other systems so once you push the all the latest changes in the master branch the jenkins job will be triggered and the docker image is deployed to the deployment platform like test environment the testing team will test the all the changes functionally and also sometimes the system integration testing that means if your application is connecting with other systems other modules that also needs to be tested with the testing team once the testers are happy with the testing results then they will the jenkins ci cd pipeline will push the application to the acceptance environment if the testers the test results are negative then again the ci cd pipeline will send an email to the developers there are some changes needs to be done for your application so again you have to pull the source code from development branch and you have to make your changes and again you have to push back to the development from there again it will come to master again it will be tested here in test environment so that once the application is running successfully in test environment that should be tested in acceptance environment so once it is done successfully that means testing team or acceptance team acceptance environment is basically used by business analyst to test their functional changes functional requirements so once they are happy then an in an email will be sent to the respective stakeholders that means when you want to deploy your application to production there should be some approval from your higher department or maybe the, some higher uh, like a ceo or cto so it should be deployed after approval so that can be taken care of by the ci cd pipeline there is a stage where you can define once the application is running on successfully on acceptance environment so how you can send an email to the respective stakeholder to give the approval to deploy application on production environment so that all that step also can be defined in ci cd pipeline so once it is done the jenkins job will taken care to deploy the application in production so once your application is deployed and production that's it so in this way you can automate your complete process from code change and pushing your changes in the git repository and building docker image and deploying docker image in different deployment platforms like cloud or cloud native on different environments like dev test acceptance and production this is how cicd pipeline basically works okay guys if you have any questions on this video or concept of cicd pipeline please put those comments in comment section i will get back to you surely very soon as soon as possible if you like this video please like it share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you